The second thing I want to touch on is the issue of the dramatic escalation in criminal conduct in the country. We have always had crime. We've had increased levels of crime. We have, we have had and have, have been experiencing in recent times inordinate levels of crime. And then in most recent times, we are seeing the brazenness, the bold-facedness, the impunity with which certain criminal elements are operating, largely with the use of firearms and through the organizations of gangs and hired killers in our community. As long as these developments are taking place, they are simply confirmations that we are not getting the upper hand of those who have chosen crime and criminality as a, as a way of life or of earning the income that they desire. The police is convinced that the upsurge in criminal conduct and the ability of persons to arm themselves and challenge the state and upset the population in the way that is happening is supported by some shortcomings on the part of the state with respect to the availability of sustained funding for the criminal element through the use of state resources, not the least of which is illegal quarrying, which is funding a lot of criminal activity and spurring the fight for turf and for resources. And the state is going to take the relevant action to ensure that these facilitations are curtailed and eliminated.